All right, welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena. It hasn't been that long for me, but it may have been for you. I have no idea. Um, so we worked on, or we <laughs> built our goblin deck last time, and we're going to go ahead and make some modifications to it this time based on about 20 minutes of thought. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and get, just jump right into it. So... Um, we are going to be making this into a Boros deck. And the way we're going to do that is um, we're taking out the... What were they? What was it? What did we just take out? It was Unleashed Fury? I, I don't know. It was somewhere. It was, it was a terrible spell. It didn't, do, it didn't do what we wanted. And realistically, looking at it, it didn't make sense for what we were doing <laughs> because it was just where is it where is this thing i don't know okay i give up it's it, you guys know what spell i'm talking about i literally just took it out uh now i need to find it though unleash fury it's right here we took it out we're getting rid of those um we are also going to drop the goblin tunneler and we are going to get rid of this shock and just we're using a common just to make myself happier <laughs> i know i know it makes no sense but we're getting rid of that um and the reason that we're going to go and do a little bit of boros in this is because we want where is that some combat tricks Also, the Phalanx Tactics. Yeah, so we want these. And we also want Banishing Lights. Because we got three of these for free and we want to make use of them. So, with that, that brings us up to 42 guards. And... Honestly, I might drop the Molten Ravager just because we are mixing two colors now. Uh which means that we are going to have to okay um not collected get rid of that nope oops that's the wrong one whoops <laughs> and uh what feels like us uh we'll go with the crystals i like crystals yeah there we go and we want to take a look at our dual lands what do we have uh i know we'll have yeah We've got Windscarred Crag, but that slows us down a little too much. And same with Sapphire Trium, and we're not doing three colors. So, yeah, that's all we have that matches our colors. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead. We're adding a different shock, four Phalanx Tactics, and a Banishing Light. So we're just doing a little bit of crafting. One uncommon, five uncommons, because we will most definitely be using these later. And we are going to have to rename this to V2, because it is the update. Now, I probably should have cloned the original just to keep it around, but ah, actually, we'll go ahead. We'll do that. Clone it. Uh, rating party. Oops. Oops. There we go. And we'll take these out. Visa, oops, Alex. Uh, so it's pure red. We were running 22 mountains. One, two, three, four. I just want to keep the deck assembled just for, you know, just so that we can see what we had. Previously, and can this revert to that? 24? Yeah, that's all I took out. There we go. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, we had the tunnelers. There we go. Yeah, so that is Raiding Party Mog 1. So, we're just going to keep that. You can rearrange these. So, this is our favorite now. 
because it is the one we are actively using. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, Mach 2, let's go. So, it's five minutes of me fiddling with decks. Woo! <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna go ahead, get this loaded up, start a match, the PC2. Question is, can we beat them with our new Borosiness? Uh, yeah, no. Mulligan. Ooh. Oh, we're getting bad hands. Let's throw that back in. Well, hopefully they do something we can shock. Oh, they said hello. Hello. Yes, you can gain one life. That's fine. Uh, we'll reveal Boros. That's fine. Want to play something shockable? Ooh, yeah, that's a key component of a combination. Kill it. <laughs> Alright, goblins. Hopefully we just keep getting more and more goblins. If we can just get a swarm of goblins. Huh. Oh. Um... That is a 2-2. Two -two. Well, that has an adventure. Uh, we will sit back for one turn. Just because I'd rather him hit us, and then we can go for four. So I don't mind taking two to do four. Well, we'll see what madness he pulls out. Recast a creature that has an adventure, put a counter on this thing. Okay. Yeah, hit us. It's fine. Um Yeah, I think we just swing in on him. And then we're gonna kill that horse. Goodbye, horse. We got to do four damage, so we are technically in the lead, and our goblin will do just as much damage as his whatever that is. Oh, another horse? Really? Really? More horse? Oh well. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Give us some more goblins. So he has something he can do instantly. It's neither of these. Yeah, we get the goblins either way, just accept it. <laughs> Not attacking. Okay, he gets a life. Hopefully he'll hit us for five, and then we can turn around and hit him for nine. Okay. Gonna hit me for two in the air? Okay. Oh, we're drawing really poorly. Yeah, if we go in, it's just a suicide mission. There's no reason to do it. Oh. Oh man, that's not good. He's gonna hit us for five. Okay, we are being overrun. Great. Okay, well that's nice. Could banish the horse. And then swing in for a ton of damage. Two, three. Yeah, like we banished the horse. Goodbye, horse. What is this? Yeah. Here to the horse. 
Goodbye. And we're gonna swing in. Did you just tap two of my creatures? Oh, okay. That doesn't change the fact that they're going in. Oh, yeah, he said oops. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Oh, I wish these creatures weren't so powerful. I'm starting to be wounded. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, five in the air. Yeah, uh... Nope. Yeah, that's, that's game over. Yeah, because even if everything goes through, he wins. Oh well, whatever. Alright, swing it up, buddy. Oop. Yeah, even more powerful swing. But yeah, we definitely need more ways to deal with big creatures. Maybe I shouldn't have killed that horse. <laughs> oh, well, though. No. Alright. On we go to the second round. That's a weird hand, as always. We really need to draw a planes. If we get a planes, we're good. And hopefully he'll play something we, sh we can shock. Nope. Alright. Nest critter. He has either an unsummon or an opt. And he's looking at the nest robber, so he's debating the unsummon. But he either do it or don't. If you put it back in my hand, you save yourself two damage. But you lose a tool that probably won't be valuable against us, but... <laughs> Yeah, so Mountain Goblin Gather the attack. Alright, what you doing? 1-3, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we want the 3-3 three, three at this point. And we are not going to attack, because that would kill our Nest Robber. Really, 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 really need a Planes. What's our chance of drawing a plane? It's 11%. Oh man. This deck is a little too split. We have just like a dip of white. Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take the one. Um. Yeah, I think we want to hit him. There's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> Annex is just dead. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, 
Perfect. Um, yeah, so we're going to go goblins. Smack them. So we can hit him for 11 next turn. So if he, all he does is swing at us. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think we might have to banish that. Yeah, just take the one. It's fine. Let me banish that thing. Oh, we could have banished the... Oh, I'm an idiot. Owl. Hit him for four. Good work, guys. We could have got Annex back. I mean, I mean, it wouldn't have helped, but we could have got him back. <laughs> uh, I think getting him back would have actually made everything... Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so I think we do. Oof, yeah, we can't do both. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. No, because he's gonna block. Um, yeah, I think we do phalanx into shock. I wish we had one more mana, or I, I think we actually let's just hold out for one turn. We'll hold out for one turn. Yeah, if we draw a land. Oh, All yeah, right, no, it doesn't matter what we draw. We kill him. He's dead next turn. Because <laughs> we just raid bombardment. All out assault. Shock. That two or three matches. Let's take a look at the browser data. Uh, refresh the page. Looks like it hasn't updated yet. That's weird. I hate when it does that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, no, it hasn't updated with the... Oh, it's just counting this as one deck still. Okay, well, whatever. It was two matches, apparently. All right, on we go. <laughs> Man, I was hoping it would keep the stats separate. I think I mean to open and close the game kind of deal. Get a different ID or whatever. Or maybe me renaming the deck doesn't have an effect immediately. Oh, well. Um, turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. Okay. <laughs> Nest robber away. Smack him. We know he doesn't have a shock in hand. Um, yeah, I think we want to go numbers. Smack them again. Uh, yeah, that is a shock. Into a raid bombardment. Into seven damage. So phalanx tactics would be the best card we could get right now. The 
creatures gain trample. Nah, I think we just get the numbers for next turn. <laughs> Smack them. That's fine. You kill that bird, you're still dead. Unless you AoE or kill her and jam it, you're dead. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah, you're still dead. <laughs> He's like, crap, how do I gain more HP? Uh, yeah. So doesn't matter. He can't block. Oh, it's, just, it's all just raid damage. Good game, buddy. I think we should probably aim for thirty-minute episodes, or maybe we should aim for three wins. I don't know. Uh, either way, we get a pact open. Um. Let's see. We're currently very heavy on Zendikar. I don't really want to get too many of these packs just because I've I have played more with these sets than the other sets. So I'm just less interested in them. So I kinda wanna do a core twenty one. I think we'll just go back and forth between Veto. I don't know the dust grows. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Okay, you could we could build something around you. If a creature died this turn, put a counter on it. Uh, hey, you're okay. You're not great. It's only it's only my end step, and it's only one counter, no matter how many deaths. It's not great. A six six trample for six. <laughs> All right, let's continue on a little bit. Yeah, I guess until basically until I have an idea to do a modification or half an hour passes, whichever one or five games, which whichever one of those two. Oh God, I should not have kept this hand. This is a silly hand. We have a tin streak cadet. That's our only move that we can actually do. Everything else requires more land. <laughs> oh no. I mean it's a 37% chance to draw land, but like it's still there's still a little risk to that. Then again, okay. Well, he was just thinking. Just thinking hard. Hmm, the black deck, eh? Oh, nothing we can do. You're not walking into a serrated scorpion. <laughs> Ten Street Cadet, hug that scorpion. Looks like that seems like a terrible plan. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think we take the one. Were you expecting me to block? <laughs> Goblets. <laughs> Alright, Goblin, get him. What is he holding on to, I wonder? Because he's got two mana that he just didn't use. And he had an instant, evidently. So he has options. I kind of hope he just buffs this thing to all hell. Because this, this could be an Ikoria deck. Who knows? Huh. It's a 3-2. Yeah, no, I'm not going to... You, you can go through. That's fine, buddy. More goblins is my response. I'll hit harder than you're hitting. You just up a turn. 
I kind of hope he like mutates this thing like 20 times. Just in the hopes that I won't kill it. <laughs> I might just play more goblins though. Like, this is going well so far. We're winning. Yep, nope. Here comes the mutations. Um. Yeah, I think we just say no. We just get rid of the thing. And then we just hit him. With an army of goblins. Chicker gets plus three plus one. You can cast it from your graveyard by paying three life and discarding a card. Okay. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Three, one. It's a demon in addition. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of creatures, I think. Oh no. My one goblin. I was so attached. Um, I guess we want three goblins. I'm debating this would have actually been a better play just because it's more goblins. No, my 2-2. Two, two. More goblins. I shock you. Get him! <gasps> he didn't let us attack. <laughs> oh, that was just goblins. We just we just made all of the goblins. Uh, 26 minutes in. Ooh, we got a card. Uh, Castle Garenbrick. Interesting. Um. Okay, yeah, we can do one more goblin match. Come on, get those goblins. <laughs> get those goblins on that island. I just want to see like 500 goblins. Man, I miss Cranko. I think he went out of rotation. I think he was in like the Ravnica stuff or something. Man, I should have recorded this series like then. Done the crazy gruel Cranko deck. Um, well, we have the land base, and we we have the shocks. <laughs> But I think Tin Street Cadet. Because <laughs> we can hit him for three next turn. <laughs> Alright, um. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice. Bird Goblin Go. You 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 gotta know that this guy is riding this guy. Riding the bird. Like, the goblin rides the bird. <laughs> That's how this works. Oh, you're tapping it for green? Okay. No, you're not gonna tap it. Okay. You instead play a swamp. Okay. I see. It's a daring move, tapping and then untapping it. Rats control have menace. Okay, he's a one three. Um. Huh. Uh, if he blocks, we'll kill it. Because he could potentially be a rat deck. Die. I'm sad to lose our bird, though. Oh, wow. Fine, no one gets to play things. I see how it is. But I have more goblins where that one get, came from. This is this is a terrible card. Because our goblins don't need trample. Uh no. Just 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 no. Just kill it. Just get rid of that creature. Goblins, go kick his ass. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for the nice. I appreciate it. Hmm. I was, I was just the tiniest meow. Okay, uh, we're gonna crash through just to get a card. We can't play that. Uh, okay, goblins, go! You're not blocking? Okay. I was gonna foul up the stack to kill the cat, but apparently not. Wait, no. We still would have lost a goblin. 
No. Oh, you have landfall. Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. I wish we had a shock still. Because that is now a scary kitty. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah, I guess I want to do an annex. And I want to just hit him for two. And then next turn, we can do nest robber into phalanx. No! I was hoping to keep him... Oh, at least he created a thing for himself. Good work. Okay, well, all is not lost then. So I think we still have enough damage for this. Um, yeah, so nest robber into an all-out assault into a phalanx yes sweet all right and that wraps us up at 31 minutes so uh we are going to be doing a couple modifications at the beginning of the next episode we're going to be getting rid of crash through because um well it just doesn't do anything for our deck <laughs> like because none of our creatures become really big, so like it's just not useful. Um, I don't know what I'll trade it for, but we'll find something. Uh, we might lean a little bit more into the white, I guess. Yeah, just because if we can get something that replaces itself when it dies, that would be useful. Um, I'm just trying to think what that would be. Yeah, we'll find something. I'm sure there's something here. Or we could just get some pacifisms. <laughs> just, just another four no cards. Uh, or I think the garrison catch or something. No, <laughs> that's not good. Because we want lots of creatures and we want to... I wonder. Um, just token. Is there still a thing that makes two soldier tokens when you play it? It's like a two cost. Uh, yeah, we could do garrison cats. Oh, I'm not really seeing any. Uh, I'm in the sun. That's a, yeah, that's too expensive. Uh, at least three white spell mana was spent. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a way to make that work. Huh. Uh, da, 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 da. I've heard of this one. I know it's supposedly like really OP. And everybody just uses that. I'm not going to use that, though. That seems kind of ridiculous. Could do this, just because if we put him out and then hit him with Phalanx Tactics, he buffs everyone else on top of the buff that Phalanx already gives. So it would be plus 2 plus 1 to everything. Yeah, and three plus 3 plus 1 to him. Which is definitely useful, and he creates a token too. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what we'll do yet. We'll take a look. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know the last two minutes of that were just me looking at the deck. Uh, but yeah, let's take a quick peek at the stats now, and then we'll end the episode. So. In total, we've played eight matches. I don't know why this is here. Like that's just the one that it gave us. So we played eight matches. We won six. We lost two, so seventy-five percent. Um, overall, the trend continues to be: if we're gonna win, we're gonna win fast. Um, our two defeats are our two longest matches <laughs> which is kind of silliness yeah
three minute win, three minute win, two minute and 45 second win. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.